All right, we're just out uh, on another prospecting trip. Um, we're headed to a newly acquired property and uh, an old one as well. Hope everyone enjoys the video. Okay, so you can see that uh, this area has been recently logged. Um, there's a lot of exposed overburden, so we're gonna see if we can find any new signs of mineralization and uh, check out all the old uh, showings that we found and we're doing a bulk sample at a quarry right now so we're gonna pull off some stuff from there and uh, then we'll go from there okay so you can see all the uh, the area here that's been logged exposing all this rock we're gonna check this see if we can find anything uh, new there's a lot of mineralization in this area so hopefully we find something So this is one of the prospects we wanted to check out. It's an old quarry and uh, there's supposed to be a little bit of mineralization. So uh, we'll see. Okay, so I uh, haven't found any mineralization, uh, but uh, we found a quartz vein, so we're gonna check this out. Let's see if there's anything on it. You can see the old, old drill hole. This was explored in uh, the late 60s by Can Pack Resources. All right, we'll continue on. So this area has been recently logged. Um, this is new. They've kind of quarried out some rock here and uh, you can see the oxidization. It looks like there's some uh, pyrite and chalcopyrite mineralization here. Uh, we're gonna check out this. It's uh, looks like it's a bit of quartz feldspar with uh, some schist in there. So you, there's there's obvious spots where you can see uh, the rock is heavily oxidized. So we'll take a look and see what we can find. Okay, so you can see uh, you have right here found as disseminations in this rock um, there's a uh, quite a few spots where I can see obvious mineralization again you can see more mineralization there uh, we're looking for something a bit more substantial Okay, so you can see this stuff right here. Um, looks like the rock kind of changes over. And it's got a bit of grano diorite in it. There's a couple small quartz we found. Um, mineralization is mainly found as disseminations. We're looking for a, a solid mineral vein. Okay, and you can see more mineralization smaller little veins throughout here. We're probably gonna take a sample. Um, looks like this is primarily sulfides. Maybe a bit of free gold, but we'll uh, we'll do an ICP analysis as well as a fire assay just to be sure. You can see this is more of a solid uh, mineral vein here. So we'll, uh, we'll sample from here, and then there's a couple other spots too that we're going to sample. A decent sample there. Looks like the vein uh, dips down at about uh, 45 degrees. 
Okay, so you have this area right here. You can uh, see that there's even roots growing in. It's a clay layer. Um, it's got uh, lots of sulfide mineralization on it. It's very deteriorated. Um, so we're gonna take this and uh, send a sample in, see what's uh, in that little vein area. Okay, so that's the uh, the quarry. Um, we're gonna head and uh, try and find the next uh, showing and see if we can find anything else. Okay, so we're just uh, on a ridge above a uh, an old mine and uh, below another mine. You can see all this has been logged. This used to be uh, second growth forest, and uh, in the last six months they've logged us. You can see it almost looks like they uh, saw the quartz vein and did a little trenching of themselves. All right, let's go uh, check out the uh, old mine shaft. You can see it's uh, water filled. This goes down about uh, six meters. I'd say two thirds of it's filled with water now. So you have a, uh, a one meter wide quartz vein going down here and uh, you got some malachite staining on it and uh, some chalcopyrite and pyrite. We've gotten uh, decent samples from here before, um, that which we have had a sade a couple years ago. So we're gonna see if they've uh, exposed anything else with their logging. And uh, then we'll go check out the other uh, mine, which is down below. It's an incline shaft that goes down 33 meters. All right, so we're uh, just here at the uh, incline shaft. You can see that it's uh, also completely full of water. So uh, they took out um, gold, silver, copper, zinc, and talc out here. Um, you can see that uh, the logging company just completely uh, took away our uh, old dump here. We were gonna be sampling this, but there's not left much left here. Um, we think that um, a lot of it's down on the road there and there. So we'll see if we can find some uh, grab samples out of that. And then uh, that's it. Okay, so we have uh, some exposed outcrop here. Um, there's some quartz veins on this. Uh, pretty big quartz veins actually. And you have obvious uh, mineralization as well as uh, mineralization in the host rock in the form of chalcopyrite and uh, fine grain pyrite. Um, it's in this uh, feldspar schist um, and uh, we're gonna take a sample from here because there's um, pretty decent mineralization. And uh, thank you to the logging company for exposing this. Now we're gonna head down and uh, take a couple samples uh, off the road from where they removed our uh, tailings old dump. And uh, then we're gonna head to a quarry where we've been uh, doing a bulk sample. And uh, that'll be in another video, but uh, we're gonna pull off uh, about a thousand kilograms tonight, hopefully. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching everyone and uh, have a good night. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more.